morning, everybody. Yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. the Hip Hop Conservative, bringing you the ride-along political heat today. I felt that uh, my personal appearance today wasn't the greatest, so I'm not really showing my face today. <laughs> Don't want to. and probably won't in the future. Uh, I think God has blessed me with a voice that I have, so all you need to do is to hear my voice. Um, going forward, with this whole issue with your president visiting his homeland, Kenya, and telling the president of Kenya that he must, and I'm putting quotes around the word must, adopt the views on gay rights that America has. What in the world is wrong with this mofo? Huh? No, this dude has major, well, I wouldn't say major because I'm just surprised that he even has kids because he's pulled out <laughs> in every situation that he's thrown himself in. So he'll say all this, be all big, mean, bad, bold, but then he'll pull out and retreat like he's done on everything. Pulled out, pulled out, out of our, all our troops out of Iraq. He's going to pull out all of our troops in Afghanistan, which is going to have Taliban, the Taliban just, hey, even, but they're armed insurgents. Taliban, remember, they're armed insurgents. They're not, they're actually not terrorists. So pulling out now, you know, doesn't really mean anything. But I'm just, I'm just glad that the Kenyan president told him to F off, basically. Good for him. Well, just learn that, and this is, I guess this would be the precursor of this Iran deal if it goes through. Remember that deal he had, Obama, with Russia and Syria and Assad about doing away with all those chemical weapons? Remember how Assad said he was going to get rid of all of them? And wrong. Just found out he's bombing his people again with chemical weapons. So, Mr. Crayon Red Line Drawer had an agreement made with Syria's Assad and Russia. That's falling through. So what do you think is going to happen with this Iranian deal? Are you kidding me? Come on, people. Wake up. You got an inept, limp dick president of the United States of America, a commander-in-chief who <laughs> doesn't command anything, tries to command respect, but no one will get it, give it to him because he's a punk. And like Charlie Daniel said, he won't even unleash the number one military in the world to wipe out ISIS. But he don't want to wipe out ISIS because he's sympathetic to ISIS. He's sympathetic to the plight of ISIS. He's sympathetic to the economic downtrodden conditions of those radical Islamic terrorists. They change their minds. They're peaceful Muslims, but then they end up being violent. Really? Is that how they roll? Is that how this ideology, as Buck Sexton has repeatedly said, it's an ide ideology, okay? It's part of Islam. People choose not to become radicalized. Others don't. So I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry if I'm upsetting you this morning. I'm sorry that I may be bringing doom and gloom when it comes to this Iranian deal. But unfortunately, once again, we have evidence that we have a limp dick president by allowing Assad once again to kill his own people via chemical weapons. So what are we going to do when Iran has the bomb? Think about that one, people. I just pray for Israel. And all I know is I give them the green light to go ahead and bomb the hell out of Iran right now. Because that's what it might take to make sure they secure their safety going forward. Until next time, it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. It's tit titillating Tuesday, I'll call it. Until next time, God bless you and your families. May he keep you safe. May he keep you out of harm's way. Peace.